So let's start in maps. So here we are in Paris. We can just zoom in. Do we have someone from Paris there? Uh, can zoom right in. You see it's just so fast and fluid, bringing in points of location. I can pan around the map, find a nice location, maybe the Eiffel Tower right here. Let's go in to look at that flyover data. So we can see the Eiffel Tower. Can go into tilt it over. See the Eiffel Tower right there. The flyover data is just beautiful. And of course, I can uh, even rotate around Paris. Look, you can even see through the Eiffel Tower as it rotates into the area of the city below. The data is just gorgeous, the new flyover data. It's really amazing on your Big Mac display. Of course, we support great search for points of interest. So if I want to go to lunch, maybe at, I'm told this is Guy Savoie. We'll go to Guy Savoie. We have these great info cards with reviews, photos. I can add a site to my bookmarks just like this. And it's now synced across all my devices, so this location is available to me, of course, on my phone. And because this is a Mac, I can tear these off. So if I'm planning a trip, I can set aside some things of interest. I can, of course, get directions. Let's do that here, directions from the Eiffel Tower. And when I'm ready to go, I can send it right to my phone, like this. And that's Max. <laughs> Next, let's take a look at the new calendar. It has continuous scrolling, and what's really amazing is even without the stitching, the window still sticks right there on the screen. It doesn't fall off without the stitching. I don't know how we did it. It's engineering. Uh, it's really great for creating events. So if I go and create an event like this, let's say I'm going to have lunch. And now I'm going to type in uh, what, I, what I want to have for lunch. So I'm going to say I want pizza. And you notice it suggests all sorts of locations nearby. So I'm going to select uh, Tony's Pizza. And you notice I get a map. I even get projected weather for that location. So I know if I need to uh, bring a jacket. Now I can select here and actually ask it to tell me what the travel time is expected from my last location. So I can decide if I want to drive or walk. I'm going to say I want to walk. And it actually adds the travel time right to my calendar. So I know not to schedule anything there. <laughs> and I don't have to remember because I can ask to be notified when I need to leave. And I'll get a notification both on my Mac and on my phone as well. So that is Maps. Finally, let's take a look at iBooks. So I have all my books here. Of course, can browse my co the collections I've arranged. We have access to the store with all of its content. Books, of course, is ultimately about reading. So you can get in here and read, move easily between the pages. You have access to all the controls you'd expect. Your bookmarks, search, can adjust your type of font and type size, go into a nice night mode that's relaxing for the eyes. But of course, I really love these interactive iBooks textbooks. Let's open one of those up now. So I can scroll through the pages of my book, see all these nice interactives and videos. I can pinch right into a graphical table of contents, scroll through the pages of this chapter, I can select another chapter, scroll through just like this. Look at these fantastic interactives. So if I want to understand the way the cellular structure works, for instance, on this leaf, you can just drill right in. See all the way through like this. It's just incredible. Really great way to learn. Yeah. It's also a great environment for taking notes. You can just select some text, add a note, uh, ask the teacher about this. Take a note like that. Because it's a Mac, of course, I can just stretch out, get a sidebar where I can see all my notes in the sidebar, which is really convenient, just like this. We also have a great view with a sidebar to show all your notes. You can use them to navigate your book. When it comes time to study, we have these great study cards. You can just flip through them, use all your notes, to study, just like that. 
And that is iBooks in Mavericks.